We are so excited about our Christmas Eve service. As we've been working through our Advent time, heading toward Christmas, it's hard to believe that we're only a few days away. We want to invite you to our Christmas Eve service outdoors this year. At 7 o'clock on Christmas Eve, we plan on having a big fire going, and we plan on having hot chocolate ready. In fact, we would love for you to bring your best mug. We're going to see who has the coolest covenant, first covenant mug in our congregation. So pick out your coolest one, come have some hot chocolate, have uh, coffee, gather around the fire, and just spend some time fellowshipping with one another, celebrating the truth of Christmas. And then we have this giant Christmas tree. Ben and I went with Ruth and Paul Larson yesterday on their property. They so graciously gave us this giant tree. It's a beaut clock, it's a beaut. Asking that you would also maybe have the kids make some decorations or uh, bring a decoration or something to add to our tree. And then at 7.30-ish, 7.30-ish, because us church folks are uh, famous for being late arrivers, we plan on starting our service part. At 7.30, we're going to gather around the, the fire and, and we're going to keep it simple. Uh, we're going to sing traditional Christmas songs, the ones we actually know, and uh, enjoy just the truth of the words that point to Jesus. And then one of my favorite things that we do throughout the whole year is the candlelight portion of our Christmas Eve service where we celebrate and we point our hearts and remember that the light shined in the darkness, that Jesus is the light of the world and that nothing can put him out. We celebrate that, we rejoice in that, we think about all that this world has offered us in 2020, good, bad, and different, and we remember that it doesn't matter compared to Christ. Our traditions that we hang on to, the things that we love, pale in comparison to just Christ alone. He is enough. And that's really what Christmas is all about. We're going to celebrate that together. And then we're just going to hang around after that. We're going to spend time together fellowshiping them. When we're ready to leave, we'll leave. Uh, feel free to, to leave when you need to. We'll have the picnic tables uh, for people to sit around with a smaller fire also. We're not going to have chairs set up, so if you want a chair, uh, please bring a chair. But we would invite you to join us. All are welcome to attend at First Covenant Church, 7 o'clock, or if you really want to come for the service part, 7.30. Bring your own mug, bring some Christmas decorations, and we look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at the church, and we would be more than happy to answer those. And until then, have a great day. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, continually point your heart to Christ as we walk through the rest of this Advent season.